Hello, today we will be talking about reading the periodic table and its atoms. So I have a chart set up here for you that we're going to fill out together. So in this chart, you should be given enough information that you could fill in the rest of the boxes. So our example number one, we have nitrogen. So we can go to the periodic table, find nitrogen, which is over here, and the atomic symbol is N. It's this letter that's given right there. So we can go back here and we can put in N. Then we go to the number of protons, which is its atomic number. You get the atomic number from right here, which is 7. You go back here and you can fill in 7. And then the number of neutrons is, um, well, first you have to find the mass number, which we're given, so it's 14. So the neutrons is the mass number subtract the number of protons. So your number of neutrons is 14 subtract 7. So your number of neutrons is 7. And then you go, the next column is atomic number. And your atomic number is also the number of protons and the number you find on your periodic table, which again is 7. So you can fill in 7 into your atomic number. And then when you're right beside your atomic symbol, you're writing in your mass number up at the top, which is 14, and your atomic number at the bottom, which is 7. So in our next example, we aren't given the atomic name, but we are given the atomic symbol with its mass number and its atomic number. So you go to your periodic table, you see CA, so you have CA over here, which is calcium. So you can go over here, back to your chart, and write calcium. Now your number of protons is always your atomic number. So your atomic number is 20, so you can write 20. And then your number of electrons and your number of neutrons is already filled in, so you go to your atomic number. And remember that your atomic number is the number on the bottom of your atomic symbol and your number of protons. So your atomic number is also 20. And then your mass number is the number at the top of the atomic symbol, which is here is 41. So you go 41. And to check that your numbers are right, you know that the mass number is your number of protons plus your number of neutrons. So it's 20 plus 21 is 41. So you know that your chart has been filled in correctly. Okay, and on our last example, we aren't given anything to know the, which atom we're dealing with. So you go to your number of protons, which is 13 and your atomic number, which is 13. So you go to your periodic table, and you look for 13. So we have 13 right here. So the, atom, the atomic name for 13 is aluminum. So you go here, The atomic symbol is AL. And you know that your number of neutrons is your mass number minus your number of protons. So that gives you 14 neutrons. And then you can also fill in your atomic symbol. So your mass number always goes at the top. So you have 27. And your atomic number always goes at the bottom. So you have 13. Hopefully that helped you with reading your periodic table and figuring out the atomic symbols.